Hey guys, this is Darius Inocula Grant of DIY Power Couple. And to all of our subscribers, thank, thank you, you for your support. <laughs> and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here you'll find DIY inspirations for your next home improvement project. In this video, we're going to show you all the things we learned during our faucet and sink installation of our bathroom vanity. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you can DIY too! Here's our old faucet with a beige ceramic sink that was updated to our new faucet with a white cultured marble sink. Our new sink and faucet installation was part of our bathroom makeover due to an underground water leak. You can check out our vanity and floor DIY video links in the description below. We had to make sure our faucet water supply valves were turned off. The new vanity sink wasn't as heavy. The other difference is that it had a different hole configuration for the faucet. Here are some common sink hole configurations, and after measuring, we learned that ours is the 8 inch widespread. Since we were unable to use our old faucet, we searched for a new faucet that we both liked. Since we were unhappy with our old stopper, it was nice to see a new design. Yeah, we decided to see how the push and seal drain would work for us. Here's a preview of all the parts that came in the box. Since our new sink was not attached to the vanity yet, it was much easier to install the faucet with the sink off. I was careful on how I used the tightening tool because I didn't want to over tighten the valves.
This part was pretty easy to attach, but since I'm not a professional, let me know in the comment section if you know the purpose of the Y connector. We only needed an adjustable wrench after we hand tightened the water valve. We were very surprised to see the gap between the tailpiece and the sink trap. We're pretty lucky that we live close to home improvement stores. It makes it easier when we have to go back and forth during our DIY projects. Babe, where are we at? We're at Home Depot again. How many times do we go? We've been here several times. <laughs> <laughs> After we purchased the new Y connector, we installed it and there were no more leaks. After everything was working correctly, I disconnected the flex pipe to lift up the sink. Clear silicone allowed us to quickly set our sink before it hardened. We had to make sure we wiped the excess so that it didn't permanently remain in place. Hey guys, despite the hiccups that occur in DIY projects, just remember, anything can be fixed. This plumbing project was challenging, but we are pleased with the results. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.